Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. We're gonna do your February reading. We're gonna start off uh, with a few general messages and then we'll get into the love portion of the reading. So let's just see what the energy is for you, Scorpio. Please share with Scorpio if they need to know what they need to see for February. All right, first card is reflection. So when the reflection card comes in, it talks about relationships, relationships with people that you have. It can talk about a time in your life where you know you are deciding to walk away from those people that you know you just don't feel add value to your life, maybe feeling not satisfied. Um, you know, where things are at could be in love as well. But it also can be a card where uh, you and somebody, things start to blossom, okay? Or things start to become stronger with a particular person. So it may be a decision too that you're trying to make, Scorpio. Let's see what else. Yeah, we got future. Really nice energy. That talks about some sometime in the near future, you could have somebody who lives from a distance um, who travels towards you. And there's something really fun about it. So you may hear from somebody uh, who may ask for you to come see them or you or them to come see you. So that's a really nice energy. It's a very social energy as well. And then you have reinvent yourself. So a transformation, okay? It's a new zest for life. So interesting because I do feel like there could be something in February where you're really reflecting on some sort of friendship. Like I said, it could be something that becomes stronger or it may be an ending, but I see you reflecting and it's about a future here. And I feel like it could be somebody that's just distant from you, but some of you, there's travel involved and then something changes and it brings happiness with the reinvent yourself. Now, some of you, this could be reflection on your money, your career, your job. Maybe some of you are changing, um, something significant in your life but what's beautiful bottom of the deck here you have sunshine and this tells you that the sun is shining on you in all your career your business your growth and it also talks about communication in relationships so i feel like you're going to have like a very social uh month scorpio with friends maybe love and i feel like business too is going to be really good for you Okay, your first card here is domain. Ooh, you're the ruler here. Ruler of your empire. This is you being in a place of power. So it's also an energy here of greatness. Um, you may see money grow, okay? Some of you, it can be, uh, you know, entrepreneur energy. Some of you may decide to become your own boss. And I'm also gonna say here, some of you, it may be a change in your career. Okay, you may decide to go to a different employer. All right, I only wanted one card, but two cards came out. So let's take them. You also have here gifts. This is giving and receiving. So you could get a gift from somebody. Okay, I see, I'm hearing here too, if you are starting a business, you could get um, a donation, a big donation from somebody or somebody who is generous. This also can be a surprise um, amount of money coming in for you. So really nice energy. Now I'm gonna say here with, um, if you you tend to take, if you take a new job, it could be a sign-on bonus I'm getting here as well, or there may be something very attractive about um, a new employment for you or starting a business, okay? But if you're starting a business, this could be an indication that it's gonna work out really well for you and there may be somebody who helps you. This also can be an energy of sales. Maybe some of you are in sales or you're going to be selling something. Maybe you even do it on the side. So really nice energy. But in love, right, that can be a gift. You could get a gift from somebody. You also have here discern. So this is telling you you could have more than one option. There may be some in 
uh, important decisions or choices that you're going to have to make. So it's really about weighing the pros and cons in your situation. And it's also screening your options. Okay, so really nice energy, Scorpio. Let's see, let's get into the love portion of your reading. Now for the love portion, I do use these cards as well for love. So the surrounding energy. Let's see what uh, Scorpio needs to know in love. Please share it with Scorpio what they need to know. All right. Interesting. We're going to take that first card that flew out. You do have the two of cups. You know, I just did Libra's energy and very interesting that the same card flew out in the same position. Let's see what else comes out. The sun card. Beautiful. Oh, interesting. You know, you have the Seven of Cups here with discern your options or screening your options. You could have more than one option in love, Scorpio. Look at that. That's what I said. Three of Cups energy. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Three of Pentacles. You got two threes here. Some of you may see repeating threes, which will validate this energy. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. And the Eight of Wands. Definitely there's some sort of shift here. Romantic energy coming towards you is what I'm seeing. We do have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. We got Virgo energy. All right. Let's look at this. This domain energy too is a very um, masculine energy. So I do also feel like there could be somebody who has their eye on you who's about to take some sort of action towards you, Scorpio. Could be somebody um, that sees you as a partner. Some of you, it could be somebody that already has feelings for you because this can be a mutual love. Uh, maybe somebody you have feelings with as well. What's interesting here is you do have gifts. This is also about giving and receiving. And you have the Sun card and you have the Three of Pentacles. I definitely get that there is someone who sees a lot of potential and happiness with you. Uh, it could be somebody wanting to work on this connection. But I'm going to say for some of you, I definitely get with this uh, masculine energy, which could be you know, someone I feel here too in your workplace. But this is someone I feel um, who could work with you. This could be somebody who could work with you, but it also could be somebody here who wants to meet up with you. We're going to see. We're going to clarify. Interesting. Now you have the Seven of Cups and you have the Seven of Pentacles. Now, I'm also feeling, Scorpio, there's a little bit of a vibe here that you may have a lot going on in your career, uh, or maybe some of you have a business or you're starting a business or doing something on the side. Some of you may actually be really thinking about the possibilities here for your future. Remember, we have reinvent yourself. So I feel like you're going through a transformation in your life and you got reflection here. So we have that two times. So I feel like you're really kind of processing in February, like where am I going? What do I want to do? right? I feel like money, career, and love. But I definitely see you meeting up with somebody here because you have the Three of Cups and you have the Eight of Wands. Now, maybe you're you're going to be dating more than one people. I'm getting three people here. Uh, so we'll see. Let's uh, clarify. But I see you really listening to your intuition, trying to go within, okay? Trying to find that inner guidance, maybe how to move forward because it does feel like there is some possibilities here and some important decisions that you are going to have to make during the month of February. So let's uh, let's see who this King of Wands is. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Okay, so we've got the Fool card. And the Eight of Cups. 
and the Knight of Wands. Well, this does feel like this is someone who has feelings for you. Could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. I feel like you or this person, somebody walked away in this connection. So it definitely feels that there's someone here that is coming towards you who wants a new beginning with you. Now, let's see why this Three of Pentacles is here. Tell me more about this. Let me ask, how does Scorpio see this person? How does Scorpio see this King of Wands? Mm, strength card. You may see this person as somebody who has ego. You may see this person as somebody who maybe you need to forgive this person got the queen of wands well you are very attracted to this person let's get another one the empress it almost feels like scorpio and this may not be everybody but it almost feels like you want this person you want a new beginning with this person like you want this person to come towards you there's something here maybe you want this person to say or be honest about you do have the king of cups here so it could be you want this person to be honest with how they feel about you because i do feel like this is someone who disappointed you now maybe they weren't honest with you or they did something here in the past but it almost feels like you and this person have a very strong uh passionate connection but it's more than that with the two of cups the Two of Cups is also a spiritual connection. This could be somebody who is has a bit of ego or pride. That can be that that Leo energy here with the Strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles. Look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. Yeah. You're going to get a message from this person. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, also picking up strong Aries. That's that same energy here, this Emperor energy. This could be somebody who uh, does very well for themselves. They could be in a position of power or authority. But I feel like what's happening here, you want somebody who has been thinking about you. It's almost like they've been thinking about you since you've been gone. You're going to get a message from this person. They're going to want another opportunity with you. I feel like, too, they could give you some sort of gift um, as well. I mean, February, it, there, it is Valentine's Day. I don't know that it will be on Valentine's Day, but let's go to the Seven of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. The Moon card. we got Pisces Energy. The Five of Cups. Okay, Scorpio. Well, seeing that energy, I feel this is somebody you've been, there's time invested with this person, but I feel you feel very uncertain about this person, and that's why you got the discern energy. Okay, so this could be someone you really have a lot of mixed emotions about. Maybe somebody here that. You don't know if this person is coming towards you for your for the best for you or good intentions. Let's get another card. Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, this it feels like this person disappointed you. And I'm gonna say here too, this could be someone who made you feel like an option or there was a there was a third party here. But you I, I do get because of the disappointment or what happened between the two of you, you feel really uncertain or or maybe even doubtful. And so I see you kind of weighing the pros and cons here. The only thing I feel here that holds, you know, that is kind of wanting you know how should i say that some of you who want to hear from this person it's the passion that i see here and also the time spent with this person i feel like that is really like what you think about with this person so let's clarify 
this three of cups tell me more about this three of cups all right we got the world card the king of pentacles bottom of the deck here is the four of cups yeah there is going to be an opportunity for you and this person to come together i do feel here's the queen of cups and the page of cups i feel like there is definitely feelings emotions here i feel like this person you're going to get a message from this person I feel like this could be somebody, you know, take out resonates, but I feel like this could be someone, like I said, somebody in a position of power, authority. They may even be wealthy or they do very uh, well for themselves. Could be in a, we got strong Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. But this person's hoping to connect with you again, and they're hoping for big change here. But I definitely get you are very hesitant I'm also seeing with this three of cups, I feel like there could be other people that are interested in you or maybe you are casually dating, um, but I see other opportunities around you. But this person, what I'm really channeling with this four of cups, this person's gonna try to take all of your attention. And maybe that's why I see here, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to weigh your options but let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Six of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. And Judgment. Okay, yeah. It shows me here that you're gonna be able to connect with this person. Some of you, it's somebody from a distance. And remember I said here with the future, either someone who has been distant with you or somebody who lives at a distance is coming towards you or is going to ask you to travel towards them. But I see this person is hoping that things will change. They're definitely coming towards you romantically and they want to rekindle this connection. You do have uh, the star card here as well. Aquarius energy. A lot of major arcana cards are popping up here. So this could talk about big change that is about to happen. So I feel like I want to ask Scorpio, like, how are they coming towards you? You know, is this good, bad? Let's see here. How is this person coming towards Scorpio? Well, the Empress. The divine counterpart to this emperor that we see here. They're coming in a giving energy. Remember, we have gifts here. They want a new beginning. It's what I'm seeing there. You have the queen of coin. Hmm. They're coming in peace here. Remember, you have the king of pentacles here too. Wanting a new opportunity. with the strength card. Okay, that tells me there's no question that they want a new beginning with you. And you have the three of coin. This is all about building a, a foundation here. So I feel like this person's coming towards you very confident, very strong. They're not questioning their decision. So if this is someone you felt in the past was very indecisive, I don't feel like they're questioning it at all. I feel like they're pretty determined here. They know. And yeah, look, they want that door to be open here with the Wheel of Fortune. They want a new beginning here. Ace of Wands. It's also an energy of being very motivated. This says they're very motivated to come towards you. Because I'm also hearing like they feel invested. And remember, there's that invested here with the seven of pentacles. Now, bottom of the deck here, you do have the three of wands. Look at that and the sun card. So I do sense, Scorpio, that if you're open to it, I do sense that there is um, a great possibility here of growth and happiness between the two of you. There is the opportunity to build that foundation. 
but remember I said here that there's something here about you having mixed emotions, maybe feeling hesitant energy. The other thing that I'm seeing here is that all of these are yes cards. Even the bottom of the deck, the two cards I showed you are yes cards. That tells me, Scorpio, that there could be a question you have on your mind and it's a strong yes. So very interesting. But as I said, I feel like some of you may have a lot going on in your life, you know, with, with your career. Some of you may not, not too sure whether you want to rekindle this or not. That's where I see you kind of looking at the possibilities here. Now, for others, like I said, some of you, this could be somebody in another relationship. That's a different story. That could also be why I'm seeing mixed emotions here. But as fate has it, the door is opening here for you and this person to either rebuild trust or to build that bond again. And it could just start as friendship. There's nothing that says you have to just jump right into that passion right away. But let's see what the guidance is here for you. Or see what other messages we have for you. Okay, so you got the Fool card. Have the courage to embrace change, take risks, and be adventurous. I almost feel like they're saying here, Scorpio, that maybe, you know, for things to be different, maybe you need to do something different or see things from a different perspective with this person. And, you know, I gave kind of the example. Maybe it's it's don't rush, right? Build that friendship, friendship, that bond with this person before you jump into the passion. But it may be, it, it may just be, right? You're going to take that risk, that leap of faith with this person. You may feel it's risky. Yeah, look at that. You have lovers. This tells you there's two paths ahead. And this is really about you being true and honest with yourself. So I feel like you're going to have a decision because there is hesitation. You have mixed emotions about it. And, you know, take it, there's a risk involved. And then you have the star card. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So I feel like Scorpio, um, overall, I feel like with this reinvent yourself, I'm really feeling like not just in love, but I feel like there's a lot of things that are changing in your life. And I feel like some of you may not desire right away to be in a relationship. Some of you may just take this very slowly, see how it goes. And like I said, I feel for some of you, there are other options around you. So that's why I see you kind of really listening to your intuition. Where do I want to go with this? Because remember with this energy, just in general, you have the power here. So you have the power to say no or to say yes. And remember this card here, I told you reflection in the beginning, talked about possibly ending things in your life, walking away, maybe people that don't add value to your life. And I feel like that's part of the decision making you're going to you're going to have with this person. But there will be another opportunity with this person if you want it. So Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.